Hi there, my name is Johnny, Man and Machine. In this video, I'm going to be looking at Dynamo and Dynamo Player um, and a specific script I've created just to really showcase what is possible um, with Dynamo. Um, this script is going to create levels inside my project using the point cloud that I have in here. Um, so the way that this works is I am using a third party package called Sastrugi. Um, so if you are kind of experimenting with Dynamo, then um, that is where you'll need to go to kind of start your journey off if you were going to create this. Um, so what my script needs to work is the first thing I need to do is select the point cloud I'm going to be interrogating. Easy enough. The second part is to choose a scope box. And the reason that this script works with a scope box is because you typically get point clouds um, with a lot of guff around them. There's trees, there's cars, there's roads. Uh, and what you need to do is just tell this script, what is the building? Where is the building? Where do I need to take the points from? And so anything inside this scope box is where it takes the points. Um, so once you've got the scope box set up, you can set the number of points to interrogate. I may take this out. It's not really that necessary, but um, you can increase it or decrease it a little bit. Um, the more points, the more accurate, but it does slow the script down. Um, the last option we have here is the sensitivity. Um, so I've used this on a lot of different point clouds and from my experience, um, based on the math in here, 2.2 seems to be the optimum. Um, you can increase sensitivity. So if you have landings or mezzanines that you need the levels for, um, you can boost the sensitivity by um, decreasing that number. Or if you're finding that it's picking up too many uh, levels, um, you can actually um, increase the number and that will decrease the sensitivity. Um, but I have found that just leaving it on 2.2 actually seems to pick up most of the flaws anyway. Um, so I can just hit run on this script. And what should happen is a box is created. This is just part of what the um, script needs to figure out the points and, and where to use them from. Um, so you can just delete that out after that's been created. And then if I go to an elevation here, I can see I've got all my levels exactly in the right places. Um, I have a section that I can jump to. Um, so just having a quick look at this in section. So if I zoom into the ceiling here, we should find that it's pretty spot on. Um, so in theory, this should be more accurate than any human could place in here or with a certain amount of time, in that amount of time at least, um, because it's taking the average from those levels. So um, each of these levels, even if there is deviation uh, slightly, it will be averaging out at some other point that level. Um, so that's just really a demonstration on what you can do with Dynamo. I'm not going to go into anything inside the script, but if there are any questions um, or if you'd like to have a demo of Dynamo, um, then please do contact us here at Man and Machine.